This week, we're going to be talking about building a monthly SEO action plan. You can see we've got lots of uh, action graphics up here, and it even says more action on both sides. So you know it's going to be very actionable. Basically, you know, Danny Dover, uh, who does SEO for us here at SEO Miles and I, were kind of talking about how a lot of folks in the sphere, eventually you get to this point where you've kind of fixed a lot of the problems that exist on the site, taken care of some of those missed opportunities, and you're, you're more in the groove with SEO, and now you're thinking, how do I build? How do I expand? How do I go beyond, right? What's, what's my kind of monthly to-do list as an SEO? And so uh, this action plan is here to help. So step one, we're starting with, with some diagnostic stuff. Now, at the beginning of every month, or you know, depending on, on your life cycle of doing this type of work, it could be every week, uh, you want to be running some diagnostics. And I mean diagnostics like error checking and, and looking for problems and opportunities in your site. So things like, oh, we, we have these pages at 404. We, we block these pages with robots.txt. Uh, these are 302 redirects instead of 301s, right? All these types of things that uh, you want to keep your eye on so that in case someone in engineering or development rolls out some new pages or, or there's some new things happening inside your, your website that you don't know about or something broke, you can identify those quickly, get them fixed up before they cause you massive trouble in the SERPs. Step two, once you've gone beyond that, taking care of those, you want to collect some key metrics and measurement. This is probably a once a week type of thing on a light level and maybe each month you might go a little bit deeper with some of these metrics. So things like, you know, at a top level measuring you know, visits from each search engine, uh, the number of pages that are receiving traffic, right? The keywords that are sending uh, those traffic, how many of those there, there are, comparing that to the last few months, seeing how your progress is doing, how's that matching up against your goals, right? If SEO is a, a big part of what you're doing, are you hitting those numbers that you want to be hitting? Uh, and maybe watching some rankings as well. And you could be doing things like competitive intelligence, you know, so I'm not just watching my site, I'm also watching these two other competitors, uh, you know, through a rank tracking system, through software. Uh, and you could do this for links, for all, all sorts of competitive data as well. Just be kind of keeping tabs on, wow, you know, hey, my competitors are really accelerating their link growth. And where did those links come from? Oh, they've engaged in this type of uh, link building activity. Maybe they've been, uh, you know, blogging a lot more, maybe they've been producing some viral content, maybe they've been engaging in PR, I've been speaking at events, Wh whatever it is that they're generating, right, you want to be seeing how they're doing it and what they're doing so you can keep tabs on it and know maybe I need to bring that back to my organization. So these metrics and measurements should be going into sort of a, a standardized format that you're producing reports either internally for yourself, for your boss, uh, for your clients, all the time. And then you can move on to step three, which is kind of trying to recognize some of these keyword and content opportunities, uh, right? So I might be looking here. Uh, let's imagine that maybe you know my site is um, Australian focused, right? For example, and and maybe I'm looking for keywords like, oh well, wallaby catcher. You know, I'm not ranked for that today. There's some search volume around that, and Vegemite sculptures. That's moderately interesting. I I guess I'm glad I don't have to see one of those. It seems like it would have to be cold out before that would hold together. And those kiwi rascals, right, over in New Zealand, right? There's wow, there's lots of people searching for that, right? So I def definitely want to target that one, that's going to be an important keyword. So you can go through that kind of keyword list and there might be new keywords that you'd like to rank for that have, have, have emerged as being popular. Your business could be entering into new areas where you say, boy, you know, we weren't in the wallaby catcher business last month, but, but this month we're starting to go in there. So let's do some keyword research around that, see if we, there's content we can build. And once you have these keyword targets, you're going to need to set some content goals for yourself, right? Like, hey, we're going to need to produce content around this, landing pages, blog posts, downloads of white papers, whatever the content is, uh, articles, right, that matches up against that content, you're going to need to get that on the website. And then step four, you're kind of going to be worrying about social, public relations, link building, all that outreach and engagement kind of stuff that's hopefully going to bring uh, value, both branding value uh, and awareness value, as well as direct links back to your site. Right? So, so you might be looking on, on places like uh, Twitter or in the blogosphere or in the press and media world uh, or inside your own industry, right? Internally, you might be looking at trade organizations or uh, business listing directories, those kinds of things, and saying, well, who do I need to engage at those places, right? And, and how do I connect with them? Where should I engage? So, you know, this, this kind of a question can be things like, boy, you know, there's this new 
forum that's getting a lot of popularity, or there's this new uh, blog that's really taking off, or there's a new Q&A site uh, that's kind of going wild in my sphere, and I want to make sure that I'm, I'm sort of in at the ground floor participating in those places, right? When, when Twitter came out, you want to be there. Now, you know, something like a Quora is out, maybe you want to be there. Maybe, maybe even something like a namesake, right, which is, is kind of getting some traction in the Web 2.0 uh, uh, Silicon Valley space, right? You want to be on that, or Foursquare, GoWalla, right? These kinds of things, particularly if you're location-based. And then you need to be asking questions as well, like what can I do to stand out and get noticed, right? Because there's a lot of people who are going to be participating in all these places. Bloggers, PR people, uh, people with, who own websites, who, are, who want to get uh, links from, they're all going to be getting pitches from people like you and you need to find a way to get noticed, to be unique from that crowd. And that means identifying things, I think the easiest way to do that unless you're an extremely creative person, is to see what works in, uh, for other people in other places, right? So if I wanted to get a blog post to go popular on Hacker News or on Reddit or uh, get a lot of stumble upon traffic, I would look at what are those sites covering? What, what are people voting on at those sites? What, it, what does TechCrunch cover? What does ReadWriteWeb cover? Uh, what does my local newspaper cover, right? Find what those things are, see those stories, after a couple of weeks, a few months of reading that, you'll have a great sixth sense about what, that, what content that is. And then finally, uh, are there existing initiatives that need some SEO help, right? So th this can happen quite a bit, actually, where there's people in your organization who are doing things around uh, PR and engagement, who are doing technical things around the website, who are producing new kinds of content, but they're not necessarily thinking like you are. They're not thinking about, oh, right, the links and the anchor text, that's important. And, oh right, the keywords, I need to you know, worry about what the page content is and do some keyword research, make sure the focus is right, or oh wait, I should be making sure that these pages aren't redirecting improperly or uh, carrying the wrong kinds of display codes or you know, uh, using JavaScript to link to everything instead of straight HTML. So it's your responsibility to, to keep up with all those igni existing initiatives inside the organization, and that's why an SEO needs to be well plugged in to everything that's happening at the company. All right, hope you've enjoyed this SEO action plan and that you will join us again uh, for another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Take care.